Hello and welcome to the MultiServe tutorial video series. Today we are going to update the Hydro Component instructional video. The Hydro Component allows you to add entities to the MultiSurf model to facilitate hydrostatic analysis. We'll show the hydrostatic values, how to make a copy of the vessel in, the, in a float frame, and we'll edit the vessel size and the weight distribution to see how these values are affected. Let's get started. We start with an entity list. Here we see this in the property manager and we're, we call it contours because it does contain all the contours in the model that we use for hydrostatics. We can use the shortcut of Alt-L we're going to pick up from our components library the component hydro. We're not going to add a prefix. The name of our component is going to be hydro, H-Y-D, and we've just added our component. And you can see we have a center of gravity point here. We have a point to change the position of the crane. I have a barge dimension entity list and I can bring up a real values dialog. I can change the boom angle uh, to 80 and now we can bring up the hydrostatic values. This has been added from our component, the hydro entity list. We press V on the keyboard and we bring up all our values and so we can see them here all our values that you would see in our normal hydro program or hydrostatics tools hydrostatics in multisurf are displayed here in this list trim uh, heel is way off from what it's supposed to be we can change this to zero and we do have a problem with it solving the reason it's not solving is I have unrealistic uh, weight figures for the counterbalance of the crane, I'll change this to 25. I'll change the weight at the top, our load weight, to 50. The sink, I'll make 1. And so there's an example of you get a solve that doesn't have good starting values. The one thing that, that told me I was having a problem was my sink was a negative number. Well, if I give it a positive number, in this case I just gave it 1, and then it, uh, the solve was able to uh, come up with the correct sink, trim, and heel values. 140 foot long barge with a 55 foot beam. So basically that's it to give you all the values and a nice lesson on um, curing a, an error situation uh, when the solve came in and it was and I've if you're familiar with hydro you might have seen where you get an error message in hydro that you're not able to bring the vessel into equilibrium uh, basically it's healed over too much or uh, contours aren't correct aren't correct uh, in this case the boat was uh, was unstable with that uh, load distribution so we corrected that Okay, now to make the copy, we can um, create a copy surface that lives in this float frame. This came in with our component called the float frame. So if we take the, um, the lofted surface from this frame to this frame and make a copy surface, uh, we'll give it another color. Okay, and if we turn on symmetry, we see that we something's wrong here. Uh, it's it's not supposed to be symmetric about the center plane because it's supposed to be symmetric about our float frame. So first thing we'll do is turn off symmetry for this particular entity. So symmetry exempt will say true and now we're going to mirror it about our float frame. 
the float frame needs to be rotated in such a manner that uh, the axis, the plane of symmetry um, goes in the y direction towards the um, negative y uh, direction. So with this point selected and the frame, we're going to create another frame. I'll give it a color of red. And we'll make this non-symmetric. And I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees about the x-axis. And this gives us our, our plane of symmetry. So if I take the mirrored surface and the mirror plane, I can create a mirrored surface. And we'll do that. And I see something still isn't right, but this is intended to be symmetry exempt as well. And now we have, and I'll show it in wireframe, we have our barge as it's floating in the water with the, the given uh, weight distribution. We have a weight on our surface of point zero point zero four eight tons per square feet. And let's look at the weight schedule. Tools weight schedule for the entire model. We see that we have a frame point which is intended to be the counterweight of the of the crane or the center of gravity of the crane and the uh, polar point is the load at the t end of the boom 25 tons, 50 tons the surface is the hull and that you see short tons per square foot gives you uh, a load of 969.83 short tons and it is symmetric we see that the center of gravity for the hull is at the center plane but the totals are non-symmetric because we have our load hanging over the side of the barge of 50 tons it puts our center of gravity off center by almost uh, one foot okay back to the model so let's make some changes and see how um, it's affected we can change the boom angle back to 45 and you see how the, how it's quite uh, an unreasonable heel there for a vessel of this type we can change the uh, location of the the crane on the barge and now it makes it even worse so the best thing we can do now is we need a large barge so we can do that let's make it a 200 foot barge let's give it more beam 70 feet let's change the stern length to 25 That's the and let's make the deck height 15 feet. Alright, so the trim angle and the heel angle are much better now. And you can just see how by changing the shape and by changing the load distribution how these values can be affected. We have a displacement now of 1700 tons. Before it was, in, we looked at the weight schedule. It was in the area of uh, 900 tons, so quite a, quite a big difference. This is uh, the quick lesson. We don't can't be too long, or it won't fit on YouTube. So I'm going to quit now, and uh, hopefully some questions will rise out of this, and you'll start using this more and more, and uh, and maybe when you're ready for some hard copy outputs, uh, you're you can go into our regular hydro program and be able to print out um, hydrostatic sheets and uh, curves of form and stability curves, things like that that are available.
but this might really save you some time and be able to see things. Well, the other thing is um, if when you want to turn this off, and some computers or some more complicated models that might slow you down, you can uh, go into the solve set here and edit the solve set, which is the solve set for actually doing the the sink, trim, and heel solving, and just simply turn it off to dormant, and that will um, cause not the uh, the hydrostatic component to no longer solve. Now you're able to change the sink, trim, and heel, and and to see how your displacement is affected by it. So if we change this to sink to uh, five, and we change the trim and the heel uh, to zero and zero, we can see what the displacement is of this vessel with this much draft. And uh, so we're working from, you know, without, without the load characteristics put in there, or the weight characteristics. So it works like hydro in that way too. All right, well that's it, and um, please contact me with any questions. Thank you.